Good evening and welcome to the Citrus TV News Brief. I'm Maria Sinti and here are today's top stories. The Department of Public Safety is investigating after 13 clown sightings were reported on campus last night. One incident reported by multiple students involved a clown chasing a man down Stratford Street. DPS has not confirmed any of these sightings. For the latest update in the clown hysteria, tune in to Citrus TV News live at 6. State police are continuing to investigate the cause of the I-81 car crash that occurred Monday morning. 16-year-old Sean Jewett was killed in the crash, and driver Cameron Evans is still in critical condition. Investigators have not found any evidence of alcohol involved in the crash, and they are now looking at the teen's cell phones to see if texting and driving may have come into play. Vice presidential nominees Tim Kaine and Mike Pence will debate in front of millions tonight. The candidates will take the stage at Longwood University in Virginia for the only vice presidential debate of the season. The debate begins at 9 on CBS. And across the pond, the British pound is at its lowest level against the U.S. dollar since 1985. The pound currently sits at $1.27 and could keep decreasing as people continue to worry about Brexit. Taking a look at our quad cam, we see partly cloudy skies with temperatures in the mid-60s. Slightly warmer temperatures coming our way tomorrow. We'll get back up to about 73 degrees in the afternoon. Nicole Dementri has your full weather forecast live at 6. And that's it for your Citrus TV News Brief. Stay tuned for Citrus TV News Live at 6 with Jamie Weiss and Rob Romano. I'm Maria Sinti. Have a great night, Syracuse.